we project that by the year 2070, there will be an equal share of Christians and Muslims in the global population. Conrad Hackett of the Pew Research Center summarized the main headline that Islam is currently the fastest growing faith in the world. This is mainly due to higher birth rates and a youthful population, he said, not conversion. The experts here say that when you look beyond the headlines that this study generated, a more nuanced picture of the trends comes into focus. Overall population growth in Africa is driving the changes for Muslims and Christians. By mid-century, the continent will be home to 40 percent of the world's Christians. Hackett said the survey shows Christians will also increase as a share of the world's population. So for both Muslims and Christians, there's what might be perceived as good news. Not so for Buddhists, who will stay constant at around half a billion adherents. But globally, uh, the demography drives the picture. British population studies professor David Vos says greater numbers do not guarantee dominance. What really matters, I think, is economic and cultural productivity. Uh, does the country manage to translate its numbers into influence, both in the global economy and in the terms of soft power? Still, the researchers concede that measuring religious identification is an inexact science and the demographic trends can shift in unforeseen ways. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.